that's good to be back. Before we get into the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if you haven't, in order to be the first to get notified when I release new videos. Jack the Giant Slayer 2013, full movie in summary, recap, plot, synopsis, or whatever you will call it. In the Kingdom of Cloister, Jack, a young farm boy, is fascinated by the legend of Eric, an ancient king who defeated an army of invading giants from a realm in the sky by controlling them with a magical crown. At the same time, Princess Isabel becomes fascinated with the same legend. Ten years later, Jack goes into town to sell his horse to support his uncle's farm. There, Jack spots Isabel and becomes enamored with her after defending her honor from a group of hooligans. Meanwhile, Lord Roderick returns to his study, only to find that a monk has robbed him. The monk offers Jack some magic beans he stole from Roderick as collateral for Jack's horse. Back at the castle, Isabel quarrels with her father King Bromwell as she wants to explore the kingdom, but he wants her to stay and marry Roderick. Likewise, Jack's uncle scolds him for being foolish before throwing the beans on the floor and leaving the house. Determined to be free, Isabel sneaks out of the castle and seeks shelter from the rain in Jack's house. As it rains, one of the beans takes root and grows into a massive beanstalk that carries the house and Isabel into the sky as Jack falls to the ground. Like this video if you are enjoying it, and tell me what you like or think about this video, in the comments section below. Jack Roderick, and Roderick's attendant Wick volunteer to join the King's Knights, led by Elmont and his second-in-command, Craw, and climb the beanstalk in search of Isabel. As they climb, Roderick and Wick cut the safety rope, intentionally killing some of the knights. At the top they discover the giant's realm and decide to split into two groups, one with Jack, Elmont, and Craw, and the other including Roderick and Wick, but not before Roderick forcibly takes the remaining beans from Jack, although Jack manages to save one for himself. Jack's group is trapped by a giant, who takes Elmont and Craw prisoner while Jack escapes. Meanwhile, Roderick's group encounters two other giants, one eats Wick, but before the other can do the same to Roderick, Roderick dons the magical crown. Jack follows the giant to their stronghold, where the two-headed giant leader, Fallon, has killed Craw. Jack finds Isabel and Elmont imprisoned there. As the giants prepare to kill their remaining prisoners, Roderick walks in and enslaves the giants with the crown. He tells the giants they will attack Cloister at dawn and gives them permission to eat Isabel and Elmont. Jack rescues Isabel and Elmont as one of the giants prepares to cook Elmont as a pig in a blanket. The trio makes for the beanstalk, where Jack causes the giant guarding the beanstalk to fall off the realm's edge. Seeing the giant's body, Bromwell orders the beanstalk cut down to avoid an invasion by the giants. Jack and Isabel head down the beanstalk, while Elmont stays to confront Roderick. Elmont kills Roderick, but Fallon takes the crown before Elmont can claim it, and Elmont is forced to escape down the beanstalk. Jack, Isabel, and Elmont all survive the fall after the beanstalk is cut down. As everyone returns home, Jack warns that the giants are using Roderick's beans to create beanstalks to descend down to earth and attack Cloister. The giants chase Jack, Isabel, and Bromwell into the castle, where Elmont fills the moat with oil and sets it on fire. Fallon falls in the moat and breaks into the castle from below. As the siege continues, Fallon captures Jack and Isabel, but Jack throws the final bean down Fallon's throat, before the giant can eat the princess, causing a beanstalk to rip apart his body. Jack takes the crown and sends the giants back to their realm. Jack and Isabel marry, and tell the story of the giants to their children. As time passes, the magic crown is crafted into St. Edward's crown and is secured in the Tower of London. Click to watch another video on the screen.